you are interested in getting the most out of a llama, I have three videos to help you increase performance, this being one of them. Let's start with the following question. Is a llama using your GPU? This can make a big difference with the speed of inference and completions when using local generative AI models. However, I have seen cases where the CPU actually is quicker than using the GPU. That's crazy, right? In my opinion, that is probably a good indication that you should use a different model. I cover that in another video on performance. Now, if you find that a llama is not using your GPU, it might be because your graphics card is not officially supported. And I have created a video that gives you a solution to that problem as well. In this session, I wanna give you four ways that you can see if a llama is using your CPU or your GPU. First, I show you the Olama PS command. Then we take a peek inside the Olama log file. Next, we get some feedback from the Olama serve command. And finally, we look at some real-time graphs using a performance monitoring tool. I personally started this journey when I noticed Llama 3 ran painfully slow on my system. And in just a moment, I will show you how long it took to get a response from a prompt, just to give you an idea what I was dealing with. Let's dive right in. I have a llama installed here and it is version 0.3.13. And so we're gonna do a llama list and see what models I have on here. So now we'll run a llama um, and we will use the llama three. All right, and let's turn on verbose so we can see the statistics. All right, tell me about AMD, the maker of processors and graphics cards. Let's see what it says. Two hours later. Okay, that took one minute and 41 seconds total. Okay, so we'll have a little baseline there to go by. We'll compare it. Let's do one more. Give me three, let's not make it so long this time. Innovations from AMD. Eventually. That was one minute and 24 seconds. So again, took a while. So let's do this. We're going to go buy. Exit out of that. So here's an important thing. You may wonder, okay, well, that's fine, but how do I know if it was using the CPU or the GPU? And there's a way to tell that simply by typing llama ps. And that's going to tell us that the model is loaded into 100% CPU. So that's a that's an easy way to tell. Is it using my GPU? There's some other ways. If you click down on your system tray and pop up with some icons, Olama should be there. You can right click on that and say view logs. You could see in here uh, server logs. So if we drag this uh, over here and look at this server log, we can see that in here it says no compatible GPUs were discovered. Okay, so that's another place you can see that it, it couldn't find a GPU to use. Okay, I went ahead and and quit Olama inside the system tray. And so you can also sometimes this will indicate if you just wanted to start Olama without showing it in the chat, then I'll show you that real quick. A llama help. There is a serve command, and you can start a llama um, without going in the chat mode, right? So that's basically what you do. Serve. All right, this is not as obvious. You kind of got to look for it. It's a little buried, but there's a message here that says, after it's looking for compatible GPUs, it says AMD GPU is not supported, which means my particular GPU, which is of type uh, GFX. 1031, um, and that will be important to know later. And then it goes ahead and it tells, here's the supported types, and that lists them here. So some good information to know, but you might not see it. So you might have an AMD card and you're using a llama and you think, well, it supports AMD, so I'm, I'm, it's using obviously using that GPU. Uh, there's another message here that says no compatible GPUs were discovered.
The fourth way to tell if it's using your CPU or your GPU is to use some performance monitoring tool. I'm using AMD Adrenaline here, uh, but you can use whatever. It may be it's something that came with your GPU, your CPU, your operating system. But right now we can tell this is using our CPU because you can see it spikes way up. It's at 82 right now. And you can see the GPU is hardly being utilized at all. So obviously, and you can see kind of the same thing going on with memory. And if Olama is using your GPU, it'll look more like this. Notice how it spikes up quite a bit. Your CPU is not doing much at all, but the GPU is spiked up and it's done. Hey, don't miss my video on how to get the best performance out of Olama. It is fundamental if you want a better experience when you're using Olama. And hey, if you have an AMD graphics card that is not officially supported, watch my video on how to force Olama to utilize that card anyway. I'll see you there.